Researchers at UCLA launching an ambitious new program aimed at curing depression. Claudia Cowan live in Los Angeles with more. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Arthel. It is considered the greatest health problem in the world, affecting 350 million people. But now there is a new front in the battle against depression as UCLA commits to finding a cure. Let's go back to talk about the meeting. Researchers at UCLA have launched a half billion dollar study with the lofty goal of eradicating depression. We don't want to make it so that people don't ever have sadness or aren't ever blue. But we want to have it so that it no longer robs people of their life. Every year, an estimated 800,000 people commit suicide. Statistics show one out of four women and one in six men will experience depression sometime in their life, with symptoms ranging from panic attacks to an inability to function. In the past two weeks, how often have you felt worthless? Using a mobile interface, UCLA hopes to identify the genetic, cognitive, and environmental factors associated with depression by surveying 100,000 volunteers. And we're going to encourage them to participate with us for perhaps up to 10 years to really try to understand what the course of their depression is, to understand why it's being caused and what we can do to treat it better. Departments from across the university are playing a role, from designing better awareness campaigns to combat the stigma, to developing new technologies for prevention to finding cures. The comprehensive attack gives hope to UCLA alum Willie Reese, diagnosed with PTSD following the suicide of his 19-year-old son, Michael. Harnessing resources that UCLA is going to deploy to try and address um, the stigma is incredible. I'm very thankful for that. UCLA's approach marks the first time there has been a campus-wide effort to eradicate a disease, in this case, curing depression. And for so many people, Arthel, that can't happen soon enough. Of course. Claudia Cowan, thank you so much.